Come on, we're gonna be late for the meeting. I just want to check on Prancer. Stevie said she was acting weird. You should have seen you guys. Where's my camera? Very funny, huh? huh? Oh. What brought this on? It's not April 1st, is it? Change of pace never hurt anyone. Let's just wait till we get the x-rays back. All bow down to the reigning queen of practical jokes. Come on, your silliness. Max is waiting for us. The Inter Pony Club party is a fundraiser. Last year, Woodgate Stables put on a great bash, and this year it's Pine Hollow's turn. Now, not only do we have to outdo our rival pony clubs, we also have the task of marking the 100th year anniversary of Pine Hollow. So basically, this party has to really rock. Eloquently put, Stevie. I'm looking for volunteers. I'll do it. Thank you, Lisa. Who's going to help her? Great. Pick the loser who never gets invited to parties to organize ours. Oh, I'll help you. I'll help you. Fine. Lisa and Veronica will co-host the party, but I expect everyone here to do their bit, OK? Uh, no, I said I'd help Phil. But he doesn't need help, Veronica. Lisa does. I have to work with her? this important and then put Lisa the lame in charge. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> How juvenile. She is seriously weird lately. <laughs> I want you to meet the cars at the gates and direct them to the valet parking. Megan, I want you to organise the valets. Why don't people park in the yard like always? What are valets? <sighs> Am I the only one here who has any class? Uh, reality check, Veronica. There is a budget. Thank you for that input, Lisa. People are going to pay, you know. Uh, Phil. <laughs> I know I can rely on you. Then I should remind you, we're trying to raise money for this event. Chandeliers? I can't believe it. She's practically flying the kissing by helicopter. Really? That's cool. Stevie, this is supposed to be about the centenary celebration of Pine Hollow. Don't you think having a historical theme is way better than Velo parking and chandeliers. Um, is there a third choice? So you're taking Veronica's side? No, you just have to lighten up a bit, that's all. Lighten up? Yeah, it's a party. Stop thinking of it like a school project. It's supposed to be fun. But school projects are fun. Want a drink? Thanks. <laughs> with all these practical jokes. This is a timeless classic. 101 practical jokes to amuse your friends. And I'm only up to number 12. I'm not amused. <laughs> That's OK. I am. <laughs> snack in case you get hungry. <laughs> Stevie. Bow to the queen. You need to get your medication checked. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, I know what you were trying to do, but I'm not sure it's such a good idea to put Veronica in charge. That's why I put Lisa in charge with her. Oh, Max, that's like putting the Roadrunner in charge with Wiley e. Coyote. Well, I thought they might balance each other. And squashed him? <laughs> You'd better watch out. Someday, someone's going to get back at you. <laughs> so, Red, are you going to the party? Sure. Are you uh, going solo? Hadn't really thought about it. Because if you want, we could go together. Um, I don't normally date pandas. Stevie. Lisa! I hear you're suggesting an historical theme for the party. I've got something you might be interested in. Or that one. Or that. Guys, you just gotta hear this. What? Friday night is not only the 100th anniversary of the stables, but the 100th anniversary of the death of Max's great great uncle William. So? It's Friday the 13th. We could have a horror at Pine Hollow night, a freaky costume party. Why? Because it all fits in. William had his head chopped off and died a violent death. Or did he? Did he what? Or did he die? Because the Headless Horseman still haunts Pine Hollow. Yeah, I've seen the film too. So how come no one's seen this ghost before? I have. I was in the stables late one night. And I caught a glimpse of him just near the doorway. He hovered for a second and then he just disappeared. Max told me later on it was probably the ghost of his great granduncle, William, the Headless Horseman. Thanks, Deborah. That's a very interesting story. It's perfect. I think it's a great idea. And it'll be exactly a hundred years ago. And we can give out prizes for the best costume. And decorate the stables with scary stuff like skeletons and ghosts. Look, we're trying to bring a little sophistication to Pine Hollow. Save your kids stuff for Halloween. So what happened exactly? Max's great, great uncle found gold up at Possum Gorge. He was bringing home a little bag of nuggets when two desperados strung a wire across the trail between the trees. Cutty set off! <laughs> These stables were built on the old Regnery farmland. And this is the exact spot where William Regnery died. Max showed me. And you know what's weird? I always feel a shiver when I walk past this spot, and I never knew why. So, Comanche, you're looking beautiful. Yes, you are. Such a handsome boy. <laughs> Day. Huh? Yeah. I'll give you a brush. <sighs> Lisa told us all about the fright night thing. It sounds a lot better than any old dinner. Megan, Megan, Max is after an occasion, not some juvenile novelty night. 
Lisa told me to make some decorations. I told you. You're in charge of the mood lighting and candles. But... And I want to see some imagination from you people. Why is it always me who has to come up with the brilliant ideas? But I have to be home for dinner. <sighs> Sam, I'm taking you off parking. You can organise the catering. Why me? Because we need you, Sam. Veronica, I just got a call from Shay Andre. Whoa, are they catering Friday night? No, they are not. Why not? Did they double book? Don't worry, I'll get my mother to call. No, they didn't double book. They called with an estimate for the party. Their food is off the planet. So are their prices. This is a small party with a small budget. I was thinking more along the lines of fruit punch and munchies. Munchies? Shay Andre doesn't <laughs> do munchies. I know, but you do. How am I supposed to make munchies? That's where Sam comes in. Munchies, now that's catering. <sighs> Sam and Megan are threatening to go on strike. Why? Because Veronica's carrying on like Lady Muck. Now, why can I picture that so easily? I think she's going to screw everything up. I'm way ahead of you. I've got backup. What was that? What is it? Why are you asking me? Oh, I get it. Someone's trying to get back at me. It's a joke. They're trying to beat the queen, huh? Let's creep up on them. See anything? I didn't believe it, but there it was. The way hey, well, slow down, girls. Now, Carol, what did you see? Well, we didn't actually see it, but we heard it. It was a groaning, sort of gurgling sound. And horses' hoofs. Well, you were in the stables. Yeah, but galloping hoofs. So, Stevie, you're the only one who actually saw anything. Stevie? Um, yeah. I think so. You think so? Well, it was dark. But it was like in the story. Oh, no, that's all stuff and nonsense. But is it? Deborah, you researched it. It's true, isn't it? Well, the historical facts are true, yes. But the legend isn't. Ghosts aren't real. Girls, it's late and you're all a bit overexcited about the party tomorrow night. But Stevie, we're not making this up, right? Time for some shut-eye, girls. But... Girls, go and get your things, and I'll drive you home. Come on. Thank you. Something weird is definitely going on. And how come Deborah's suddenly changing her story? Isn't she? I don't know. Hey, Stevie. Wait. If this is another one of your practical jokes, it's not funny. Me? I swear I didn't do anything. This is really creeping me out. What were you thinking, Deborah? I'm so sorry. If I'd known, I never would have said anything. Don't worry. I think we threw them off the scent. Well, I hope so. I can't afford to have this getting around. Who wants to ride at a haunted stable? What if he comes back? What if other people see him? Maybe we should cancel the party. We're not cancelling anything. We have to act like there's nothing wrong. And if worse comes to worse, I'll have to put an end to him. How do you do that? He's already dead. <laughs> Who's there?
left. Ah, you finally arrived. I said the left. It is the left. My left, Durbrains. It would be nice if you did something. I'm doing the hardest job of all. I'm trying to get some organisation going here. What are you doing? You can't just leave that there. Watch us. You're all useless. You can't even follow instructions. I mean, where are the chandeliers? I couldn't find them in the yellow pages. What are chandeliers? <laughs> peasants! I'm surrounded by peasants! Getting the best out of your work as I see, Veronica. Well, at least I'm doing something. So we've noticed. OK, guys, you've tried sophistication. I say we get back to the basics. I say we get back to Fright Night. Yeah. You'll never yes, do it yes. in the time. Most of it's done, Veronica. What? As soon as you got the job, I made other arrangements. Just as well, don't you think? They are so... so... what's the word? It begins with a J. Jerks? No, kids. Juvenile. Yeah, that's the one. They're riding high at the moment. They think tonight is their night. But they haven't counted on one thing. I am a D'Angelo. So let's get this straight. Max knows all about the ghost, but he's keeping it a secret. Well, he just doesn't want to panic everyone by telling them the truth. Adults, you can't trust them. The headless rider could be lurking around the corner, ready to pounce. This is major. OK, time out, guys. I've had a good night's sleep. I've thought about it, and I know what's going on. Am I the queen of practical jokes? Yes, I am. And I've got one word to say to you. Veronica and Christy. That's two words. <sighs> Veronica, it all adds up. She's been against us since day one. But how? She goes to the theater. She hangs out with actors. Veronica, she's gonna try again tonight. Only the queen's gonna stop her. Yeah, we meet here after dark. All right. No, Phil, this is girl's business. The truck from the higher place is here. Costume wind up? Yeah, I'm gonna be Freddy Krueger. What about you? I was gonna go as Frankenstein, but I tried my costume on this morning and it's too small. Shouldn't monsters come in large? You'd think so, wouldn't you? I know what we can do. Welcome to my nightmare! get away with this? What is that? Come on. How come you 
got changed so fast. It took me hours to change. Well, if it wasn't you, then... Enough. Is he slash enough for you? But where's the the headless horseman? You mean you all and I? Fred so, your majesty. With a little help from Maestro Phil on sound effects. Uh, uh, I, I, I knew it was you all along. Did you? I was sucked in big time. You, you, you and you, go and get changed. We've got a lot of partying to do. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> about life. Isn't it wonderful? I didn't think these costumes would be so effective. We certainly scared them. Yes, we did. 